Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanAndre.com and today we're having Microsoft Lumia 640XL smartphone with us and we are going to have the gaming performance test of this device in which we will play some high-end games and we will see how good the gaming experience of a user is going to be on Microsoft Lumia 640XL smartphone. So first of all, let me tell you about the device and it's some, of it, uh, some of its hardware specs like um, uh, Lumia 640XL comes with a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor which is of Snapdragon 400 series. Uh, the GPU used is Adreno 305, there is 1 GB of RAM and the screen is 5.7 inches in size and it's a 700 PhD screen. So let's play some games and let's have a look at how good is the gaming quality of this Lumia 640XL smartphone. So the games we got here today these are the games so what we got here is asphalted airborne g2 racing 2 six scans subway surfer temple run 2 and fruit ninja or whatever it is so let's just start with the asphalt 8 because asphalt 8 is uh, one of the most popular racing game and one of the most resource hungry game as well it's, it's having some great quality graphics so let's play this game first of all So, here we go. So, the volume is on full. As you can see, it's 30 out of 30. So, let's see. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that I'm not a great gamer, so you gotta bear with me for this. <laughs> I just want to give you an idea about the gaming performance of Lumia 640XL, so let's just start playing the game. I wrecked myself as well. So as you can see the graphics is really good on this game. While playing this vault it. It's so nice. Everything is so smooth. There is no lag. There is no frame drops. The sound is loud and clear. As you can see here. The touch sensitivity is really nice. The sensors are pretty smooth as you can see. I'm taking left and right like this and it's so nice as you can see here. It's the accelerometer, the gyroscope, all of these sensors are working pretty well. So the gaming experience is going to be a good one on this Lumia 640 XL. So now let's play some other games. What we got here is let's play Temple Run 2. The device is so huge, the screen that it is not coming, uh, the full device is not coming into the frame when it is perpendicular, but we can still play the game and have a look on the gaming performance. So this is the Temple Run 2 and here we go.
this is one of those games in which the touch sensitivity is really important because as you can see it's it's all about taking turns getting swipes so if the touch sensitivity of a phone is not good you cannot play temple run 2 very well so <clears throat> but you can see here that it's so smooth everything is so smooth as you can see the responsiveness of the device is really very nice it's pretty smooth very smooth exactly uh, and the screen sensitivity is good as well as well as the sensors so it's you can see it's how smooth it is <laughs> uh, it's just let's just keep this game let's go back to the home screen and let's have a look on spot it once again so what i'm trying to show you here is that um, while i was playing the asphalted what i did i just tap on the home key, navigation key and i went to the start screen and i started playing the temple run 2. i didn't close the asphalted properly and when i'm coming back to the game once again you can see that the game is exactly where i have left and i can just tap on the resume and i can i can start playing the game uh, exactly at the moment where I have left it. So let me show you. See. So the game was there where I uh, it was left. So you can get the idea that if, if you are a multitasker who likes to play game along with doing some other task at the very same time. So the multitasking experience is going to be really very nice. You, like you are playing a game, then you can leave it in the middle. You can start replying back to your messages or doing something else and when you'll be back you will find your game exactly where you are going to leave it so i'm second in this game so that's what i was trying to show you that the one gb of ram is working really very nice like it's not a high-end device it is not having three gb of ram like most of the um the flagship devices but still the 1gb of ram is good enough to do the multitasking experience on microsoft Lumia 640 xl now let's play six guns which is also having some nice graphics So you can see this is a 3D game and the 3D rendering of the screen is really very nice. There is no lagging. I got some you can see how smooth the 3D graphics on 6 guns is while I'm playing this game. Everything is so nice, so smooth. As you can see, let me show you some 3D experience. See. There is no lagging, it's so smooth. The scene is changing so fast, the angles are changing so fast. So, the 3D experience is going to be very good if you are playing a game like this. So, that was the six guns, and as you can see clearly, that everything was so smooth, everything was so nice while playing six game uh, sorry uh, six guns on uh, lumia 640 xl so let's leave this game now and let's go to another game what we got here is the subway surfer which is one of the most popular game among kids so if you are going to buy this game so chances are high that the kids at your home will be playing this so just play and let's have a look at how good 
this game is going to be how smooth this game is going to be it's exactly like the temple run where you have to run and get rid of a person who is running behind you so So this is the subway surfers and you can see that this one is going really smooth on Lumia 640 XL as well. There is no lagging, nothing and the touch sensitivity is really nice, really smooth. Because in games like this, like Temple Run, Subway Surfer, you gotta play very fast and you have to use your thumb, your fingers very fast to move on the screen. So if the screen is not uh, responsive so uh, you will lose the game but you can see here that L Lumia 640 actually is having very nice touch sensitivity and sensor and everything works pretty well now let's play something else what we got here else is GT Racing 2 it, it is uh, another racing game which is having very good graphics which is very huge in size so let's let's give it a try and let's see how good this one is going to be here it's showing the real car experience so let's see how good the gaming experience is going to be I'm just going to play game I think uh, I just want to Okay, now let's play the game. That thing wasted our time. Race. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Did you bring your dictionary? Because one half of this track is here we got is Alpha Romeo. So So this game is having very good quality graphics as you can see. And it is really having the real life car experience in which I'm not good. I'm not a good driver at all. So but still I'm just trying to give you an idea about the gaming experience of GT Rings, uh, Racing 2 on 640XL okay here we go So as you can see the graphics is really very really good and in this game uh, the touch sensitivity is really very really important because we have to apply brakes and we have to take turns and the acceleration is automatic so the sensor responsiveness is really very really important here and as you can see the sensors are working really very really nice on this game very smooth I'm not a good gamer so I'm having difficulty in playing the games but it's very smooth as you can see like huh, actually I'm having problem because of the uh, high sensitivity of the uh, sensors you can say because I'm not able to control the uh, car very well because of the very high sensitivity of the sensor so 
it's it's really very nice everything is so smooth and so nice if you are a good gamer you're gonna love it um, somehow i managed to come at the second place and the last game we got here is the fruit splash i think the name of the game is fruit ninja or fruit splash it's fruit splash Okay, here we go so in this game what we have to do we have to cut the fruits and all here so once again the touch and sensitivity of the phone screen is really very important while playing this game because it's all about touching the screen and cutting the fruits here so you can see it's very smooth and the responsiveness is really very nice So now you can see I'm just moving my finger and so smooth I'm just cutting all the fruits and vegetables coming on the screen here so uh, you should be getting the idea that Lumia 640 XL is going to be a great device for playing games though it is not having the latest hardware uh, available in the market but still the gaming experience is really very good so that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on reviews like this. Have a nice day.